I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 321, where I'm going to show you how to calculate the running total number of weeks when the dates are not in order. I came across this one the other day at my day job. And the reason why I came across this one is uh, traditionally uh, when I was writing, when I was trying to do this logic that I showed you in episode number 319, my data set was actually coming in order uh, because it was hooked to a data link. I could go ahead and pull some date dimension data from a database and I had an order by clause in it. So because at the time data link allowed me to have order by clauses and that was fantastic. Data link still allows me to have order by clauses, but data import, the newest form of Quantrix connectivity to data and databases, it does not allow you to have an order by clause in. I think that is a blemish on uh, data import, and I think they need to improve that. But in the interim, in, interim, if you have to have an order by, well, I shouldn't say that. But in the interim, I had to create a workaround and use data import. So how was I going to do what I showed you in episode 320 about uh, creating my running number of weeks going here when my data set when I could not ensure that my data set was actually going to be in order when it showed up in the matrix, how could I really get the correct running week? So for example, here, this data set is not in order. I have a list of months and, or I have the, the starting day of a month and I have the number of weeks in that month right here. And I want to create a running total of the weeks, you know, month after month. So how can I do that when my data set's not in order? I can't do that using recursion. I actually have to use a select statement to make that happen. And it's a select less than statement, actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to say that weeks running is equal to sum select less than. What do I want to sum? I want to sum the week count across all my rows. So I hit colon rows because it, that forces it to go down the array. And my key list is actually going to be my month start date. And because it's a list, I want to force it down all my rows. So I hit column or colon row. And my lookup value is actually going to be the month that I'm on. And I want it to be inclusive because I want it to contain the date or the month that I'm in. So if I go ahead and do that, I get... Uh, various results here. But what I can maybe do then just to make sure that it's working is I can actually sort it ascending. And you can see that 927, then 1025, 1122, these are all the first fiscal days of the month. Okay. And this is actually now in order. And I have the associated week count with each of those. So I should see that I go from 4 plus 4 is 8 plus 6 is 14 plus another 4 is 14 plus another 4 is 22 plus another 5 is 27 so on and so forth and it appears to be working correctly even though my data set is if again if i were to clear the sort is in no way in order it's completely discombobulated i am able to create calculate a running total not by using recursion or a recursive formula but rather by using a sum a sum select less than in Quantrix. I think that is totally rad and that actually came to me yesterday because my data set it went from being nice and in order and me having control over it to being not in order and not being able to force it to be in order. So I had to come up with something so I came up with the sum select less than. Anyway if you have any questions about select, select less than, recursive formulas, anything about Quantrix, you know I'm pleading with you. Reach out to me. Ask me your question. I really want to make you a Quantrix master because I absolutely love Quantrix and I want you to love it too. So I hope you'll join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez. Today's podcast is brought to you by... 
QuantrusAuthority.com. I love Quantrus, and I want to make you a Quantrus master.